Some people think they can abuse their authority, but every once in a while, someone with the right knowledge stands up and proves them wrong. These are the shocking moments when educated citizens put corrupt cops in their place. In the first clip, a citizen is unlawfully detained three times in one day, but he knows his rights and doesn't let the officer get away with bending the law. Watch how he calmly turns the tables. Here we go again. Let's go, baby. Third time's the charm. In 2023, a First Amendment auditor who goes by the name FAPA was exercising his right to record at New Ellington SC, City Hall, when he was unlawfully stopped by Chief of Police Officer Middleton. What are you in the middle of? Recording. Recording. Oh, you want the history of New Ellington? I'm sorry? You want the history of New Ellington? Uh, maybe a little bit of it. Wherever I can find in the public areas in here, yeah. Okay, there's a library over there and give you all of it. Okay, thank you. I did see that, actually, when I pulled up. Okay. Taking 200. 200. Show me out at uh, my police department with a gentleman who is recording on the inside of the building. No, sir. Um, are you? Restricted area. It's, it's, where does it say that? Okay. Yeah, where I, okay, Sir, if you don't mind, please, no, exit. No, I do exit, please. No, thank you. I'm only going to give you one more opportunity. And then what's going to happen? Okay. Exit the building. No, thank you. All right. No. I'm not, as soon as I'm done. Come on, sir. Uh, the, please. Excuse me. Please. Excuse me. Please. Excuse me. Please. Let's don't exit, touch. please. Please don't touch me. Let's exit, please. Please do not touch me. Let's exit. Please don't touch me. Let's exit, please, sir. Can I, can I sir, have your I badge number? I'm Chief Middleton. Okay. My badge number is 200. Okay. And so why are you, you can please exit. Are you putting your hands on me. I'm gonna exit you out of the building. Okay. According to the Constitution, public areas can be filmed with cameras or cell phones, and there is no privacy in public. City halls and public lobbies of police departments count as public areas. Exit our building. This is enough. No, thank you. I'm gonna walk by now. You're not gonna walk by. So why? Are you okay. Doing this? Why are you doing this? This you is a, a this is a police. I do have a body cam, and it is recorded. So why are you okay? talking? Okay. And uh, over. Sir, please hours. don't make this something more than what it is. Okay. I'm. Tr I, I didn't say a word to you. You came up to me and put your. What hands on What me. is your What is your agenda here? What is my agenda? That's right. What are you doing? I don't need to tell you. You say you were doing history. So you record that, record that, that's you can go to the library. I need to give you, right? Okay. That's already more information than I need to give you. Okay. Sir, you're making this more difficult than what it is. And so are you okay. at the very same time. No, it's not. All right. <laughs> no, it's if not. If you don't mind, I would like for you to exit this building. I do. I already okay. told you that like four times. All right. You under arrest? Sir, 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 <laughs> sir, sir. Now you're trespassing I, I, okay. on public property. Look, <laughs> trespassing on, on yes, public property? Yes, I gave you, I gave you. Trespassing on public property. Do you guys see this? You guys see this? I gave you plenty of opportunity, sir. How can a U.S. citizen be trespassed from a public building he paid for? And he was just recording the displays on the wall. There wasn't any disorderly conduct or disruption of business by him. So now what? Now where are we going to take this? This is going to go on the outside. be fun for you. <laughs> and then you're going to leave. No, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to step right back in as soon as you take these cuffs off of me because you know you're making a mistake right now. You know you're making a mistake. I asked you to exit, and you did not exit. Look, this is going to be a le legal search and seizure. It's not a legal search and seizure. Oh, why is that? Because I don't have to search you. you, just, you because I detained you because so you can you get out of my building. My phone. Is that what you you detained me to get out of your building? To get you out of my building. You know, you were you were at the football game a couple weeks ago. You know, I surely was. A mistake, my man. Thank you for taking the cups off me. And I copy. Appreciate that. Have a good day, sir. Yes, sir. Officer Middleton had, in fact, illegally detained the auditor. According to the ACLU, when in outdoor public spaces where you are lawfully present, you have the right to capture any image that is in plain view. That includes pictures and videos of federal buildings, transportation facilities, including airports, and police officers. Maria, I'm going to lock this building. You got the key? You got the key? Back up, please, sir. No, thank you. We're For closed. What? No, you're not. Back up. No, you're not. Back you're up, not sir. Closed. No, thank you. We're not playing this. I'm no, not playing I, this I, with I, you. No. Back up, sir. No, can you, you can't put your foot there. You cannot put your foot there to restrict Dude, this. You are, congratulations, sir, please. sir. Hey, I just want to tell you something. Congratulations. You just earned the state of South Carolina a humongous lawsuit. Sir, humongous. please. Humongous. You guys see this. I have to fight this man right now. I have to fight this man. Do you guys see this? 
Congratulations. And I'm 10 for. Congratulations. Sir, you please. Yourself and the state of please South Carolina, a huge exit the area. Humongous lawsuit. Please exit the humongous. area. Please. Humongous. This I is what you want. You. I this is what you, you want. You want to come in here and make that. You just let me walk by. No, do I don't suggest anything. Go about your day. Okay? That's what I would suggest to you. Okay? Does she have the, uh, no, sir. No, sir. You guys see this? No, sir. Please exit the building. Or what? You're trespassing. No, I'm not. Okay? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Please the exit the building. The reason why I'm still not in cuffs right now is because you know it's not true. No, 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 no. The reason why you're yeah, not yeah, in yeah, cuffs is yeah, because yeah. I give you an opportunity. An opportunity okay? for what? An opportunity to exit when I told okay, well, you I'm to exit. I'm giving you an opportunity okay? right now to not break the law. Okay. The officer rushed to the other side of the building just so he could lock out the auditor from the city hall. This discriminatory practice isn't warranted under any law. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, which includes California, has held that there is a First Amendment right to record matters of public intertest in public places, which includes the right to record law enforcement officers engaged in the exercise of their official duties in public places. Look at this. Ow. ow Sir, do not ow, step you're in, hurting please. Me. No one is hurting you. Please, exit the building. Why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anyway, sir. So, the only reason you're not doing what you think you can do right now is because you know that you can. Thank can't. you, Maria. You know that you cannot. You know you can't. That's the reason why I'm not on the ground. Give me an opportunity. Give me a reason on why you want to record in here. You said it's because of history, right? You said you want to record That's history. That's more information than I right? can. Okay, then I don't have to give you any information. Sir, I didn't okay? ask you for any. <laughs> I did not once ask you for any. Sir, if you don't mind, please exit the building. And again, we'll go for the circular conversation. No, no thank you. Okay, that's fine. Hey, let's do it again. Let's you want do a it lawsuit? Again, Get a lawsuit. Let's do it again, boys. Other hand, please. Other hand, please. For what? Okay, here we go, guys. Taking 200, I got one detained. And here's his second detainment. This officer just loved to put people in cuffs. If they would have allowed him to film, he would do that and leave. But the officer escalated the situation on purpose. You don't need to I got a gentleman here in the office who wants to record. So people, he knows. <laughs> and I've told him several times to get out of my building. He is claiming that he has a right to come in here and record. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, at the police department. Congratulations, my friend. That's sad that you do not know your own laws as a chief. Uh -huh. As a chief, you are fucked. You are fucked, my friend. You're dismissed as well. I'm gonna walk away now. You're fucked, buddy. Okay. One second. Yes. Excuse me. Don't stop touching me. Got gotcha. you. Stop touching okay. me right well, now. Well, I'd undetain him and we go. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, undetained. Dude, you better, you better get, you better, you better get people here, man. You better get people here. You better illegally detained. And look at that. The back pedaling went so far as the cuffs. Go. That's right. I explained oh, to him that see. he was trespassing. I no longer wanted him look recording this. into the this use office. Of force. The ridiculous, the ridiculous amount of force put on these cuffs. Ridiculous amount of force. Look at this. Dude, you're in trouble. You are in so much trouble, and I love it. And that's what he was doing. So he was using the phone pretty much where there was business. Pretty much where there is business. The whole city hall was empty except for the two officers and the auditor. All the detaining and undetaining was downright unnecessary. It's a shame that even a chief had to ask about the situation from a superior. Yo. I can. I can say whatever the okay. fuck I want, want to you. I can say God, whatever deal. I want to you. Here All right, I'm going to detain him, Judge, and again. he's arrested. All right. Here we go again. Let's go, baby. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. All right, this is a, a building you cannot curse. No, I can't. It's door, disorderly conduct, no, it's okay? No, it's not. No. Let's go, baby. Two different cases now. Two. Two different cases. All right. First Amendment. So, are you gonna are you gonna illegally? Yeah, this is. You're gonna illegally is, seize my phone again. No, I'm not again. illegally seizing anything. Okay, right. here we go. See you later, guys. Have fun. Good. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't think today was the day, and not even you, man. I'm 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 very happy, but I'm kind of. I'm kind of disappointed, man. I really, I, I had so much respect for you. So much respect for you. 
The auditor was arrested on the grounds of insulting a police officer. It has been proven time and time again that cursing at or flipping off a police officer is protected under the First Amendment of free speech. So to sum it up, this auditor got detained twice and then arrested the third time just because he was exercising his rights to videotape in a publicly accessible area in a government building. Chief Middleton had to resign just a few weeks later because of domestic abuse allegations against his wife. Seems to me that this encounter brought the chief under the public eye, so he decided to dip before his other crimes came to light as well. While the last cop loved to detain people for fun, this next one was so incompetent that he superseded a breathalyzer test just because of his hunch. Right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? August 28, 2022, 19-year-old Taven Galanakis was pulled over by Officer Winters because he had his high beams on, but the officer suspected him of a way worse crime than that. Hi there. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Officer Winters with the Newton Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is because you have your bright lights on. Yeah, but I have a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well that's not legal. Oh, is it? No. Yeah, I turn, when, a car, when a car comes by, I turn them off, but like, well, you didn't with me. Oh, you weren't close enough, though. You're like, you're, close you're wild, yeah, you're a wild back. It has to be within 500 feet. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And you're not supposed to have your brights on in the city limits. My fault, my fault. You got your license, registration, insurance yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, I got you. Is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Where are you headed? Back home. Where's home? It's right down on um, so Okay. Are you new to town or something? No. I just noticed you were have eight air county plates yeah i got it from my grandpa okay he lives in greenfield iowa okay hold on one second where are you coming from friend's house okay anything to drink over there even though Taven was perfectly normal and exhibited no signs of drowsiness or slurred speech, Officer Winters foreshadowed what was about to happen. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. What do you mean none? I've had nothing to drink. Okay. Why would you? Uh, why would your eyes be watery and bloodshot? I just noticed you have eight Air County plates. Yeah, I got it from my grandpa. Okay. You want to blow me real quick? I don't want to blow you. Pause. We'll probably get there. Um, how old That's are you? That's funny. 19. Uh-huh. 19. Okay. I've had nothing to drink. Okay. So your movements in the car with you fumbling over the registration? Yep. Um, kind of say otherwise. All right. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Great. Let's, let's do a test and... We'll, we'll get to the test. I can't wait. So what happens if, you know, nothing pops up? Do you get in trouble? No. Why would I get in trouble? Because you think I'm drinking, but I'm not drinking. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's, let's find out real quick. I'm not going to get in trouble for doing what I'm supposed to do. Can I record it? Yeah, absolutely. What's your name? My name is Officer Winters. So Officer Winters thinks I'm drinking tonight. We're about to do a test, and he's gonna find out I have nothing to drink. He's gonna look stupid. Ain't that right? I've had nothing to drink, zero. It's pretty evident that his eyes were not bloodshot and Taven was confident enough in his claims. The fact that Winters was confident that he wouldn't get in trouble if the test came back negative goes to show how little the police value our time. The officer then subjected Taven to a number of different field sobriety tests. I'm gonna have you stand with your heels and toes together with your arms down to your side, okay? I'm gonna check your eyes. Cool. Okay, what I want you to do is follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only and do not move your head, okay? Yep. Do you have any questions? Nope. What, what color are your eyes? Hazel. Hazel, do they ever change colors? Nope. Okay, not that you know of? Okay. Can you see my finger clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this test is about two minutes long. Here's some big figures. 
You play football? I did. What position? D tackle and right tackle. Here? Nope. Where at? Knoxville. Oh, we, we just beat Knoxville big time yesterday. Yeah. Didn't when I played, though. What year were you? Uh, 2012. You play college football? Too many concussions. Maybe the concussions were messing up his judgment. Let's do the breath now. Two for two. Well, sir, I don't believe you are two for two. How many steps did I say to take? Like eight or nine? I said nine. Why'd you take 14 and then keep your arms down to your side? Why are you shaking so much? It's freezing, man. Look at you, you got all these clothes on and I got shorts on and it's raining. And you false accusing me, so of course I'm gonna be a little nervous. Yeah. You got nothing to say. Exactly. Questions? Look, you in pants. I'm in shorts and it's raining now. I wear shorts when it's 30 below. Congratulations. Questions about the test? No. Okay, if you don't have any questions, you may begin. Keep your legs straight. Is that six inches to you? Yep. How did I tell you to count? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. That's what I'm good. Having him stand in the rain and constantly trying to prove a point when he knew he was in the wrong. It's more a matter of ego at this point. Officer Winters is one of the best examples of corrupt cops on our force. Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm going to read you Miranda, okay? When's the, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before any question, okay? Yes, sir. When's the last time we smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? No. Oh. And it finally came down to the breathalyzer test, and what would you expect? The guy blew 0, 0.00, but the drunk cop proceeds to read him his Miranda rights. Feeling that the point he was making had a weak base, he switches the conversation and starts accusing him of using narcotics. When's the last time we smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? No. Oh. Okay, well, I, would, no I, tonight, I think man. it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke weed? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. So I blow zero, and you just take drugs now. That's what we on? I blow zeros, so you think I'm on drugs. That's ridiculous. I would... Am I, during my field sobriety, I, it is indicative of impairment. So let's, let's, let's be honest. I'm being honest. You smoke okay. some weed at your friend's house? No. You hit a pin? Nope. Okay, otherwise. All right. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Great, let's, let's do it. Okay. Why, is your field, why is your field sobriety so poor? Why what? Why is your field sobriety so poor? And why are you so lethargic and slow moving and speaking with a slurred speech? And, and your eyes are watery speech. and your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Right, because we're in rain right now, uh, It doesn't affect them in the car or in my car. Well, I don't know what you're seeing because I can't see my eyes. No weed. I don't smoke weed. I play college football. I told you that. We get tested every Friday. Okay. Don't smoke weed. Today's Saturday. Okay. It's 30 days. Weed stays on your shit for 30 days. So if I did a test next week, I'd be off the football team. Dumbass. Lieutenant Wing, who was the supervisor of Winters, stood by and okayed everything his junior said. Didn't know incompetent cops patrolled in pairs. And Taven's claims about narcotics being in your system did in fact check out. Typically, weed will remain longer in hair and can be detectable for up to 90 days from the day of use. Tests can detect weed for up to 30 days in your urine, up to 24 hours in your saliva, and up to 12 hours in your blood. Due to many factors affecting how long weed stays in your body, detection times vary. Okay. Do you want to do a drug recognition evaluation or a drug influence evaluation? What's that? Uh, there's an officer who checks your blood pressure does a whole bunch of tests. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. You had me out in this damn rain. For we would go to the PD where it's Well, dry. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that now. I want to go home. You're okay. wasting, you're wasting my time. Turn Wait. around for James Bunge back. Right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I'm not intoxicated. Sir, I'm not intoxicated. Yeah, I blew zero. You can be on, under the influence of a narcotic. My phone. After a grueling series of tests, the cops decided to take Taven to the PD to further beat the dead horse. We're going home tonight, okay? 
I don't think you're, I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thank you. Rookie move. Rookie don't move. think so. So, I, um, I do just follow my... You know, I, Officer Winters is a very talented officer. I wear shorts when it's 30 below. Congratulations. Um, he's, so like I said, when he does, he's very good at these. Um, right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? Um, he does the same ones I do, the same way I offer them to you. Is he still here? Yeah, he's around here. Can I talk to him? If you want, um, I'm just going to take you home. Okay, yes, I just want to speak to him. Okay, I'll, 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 when we get outside, I'll see if he's busy. Right. Um, and he can come out and talk to you. Um, so, uh, I just want to know, like, how does it feel? How does it feel for how, what? I, remember when I told you when you first pulled me over? I had nothing to drink. He's going to look stupid. You know, like, you're impaired. You're on drugs. You drink alcohol. It turns out I'm not on any of that. Okay. Really dumb decision by you today. I'm really disappointed in how you can't about your job. I today. based my decision on your field sobriety tests. Was it really failed though? It was, it was pouring outside. It was terrible yes. cement. Okay, well, like, I said I'll blow right away. I do But there's else. also steps that I have to go through. Did you really thought I was drunk? Uh, the way I first spoke with you and your movements, I believe something was off. That's crazy, man. So was this I, your first false accusation? No. You said it was- I've been wrong many times. Yeah, I can tell. Terrible, man. So terrible. Next, an officer tries to confront a citizen exercising his legal right to film in public. Who, who are you, ma'am? Who are you, ma'am? Well, who are you, ma'am? I'm a staff member of the public contact team, and you're not allowed to video or take photos in a federal building. Why is... Why... Why Why is that? Why couldn't I take... Why can't I take video? Sir, you can speak to the security. But you're the one telling me. He didn't tell me I couldn't take video. You told me. Sean was called out by a staff member who didn't like what he was doing. Recording this area. Yeah, yeah, this I can record in all the publicly accessible areas. I know where I'm. I know what I'm doing here. It's okay. Oh, okay. Did you record over the here? I'm recording everywhere in the publicly accessible areas. Okay. okay. I didn't. I didn't go by. Look, come here. Come here. I didn't go past where it says employee VA employees only. I didn't go past there, okay? I didn't go into any restricted areas. He's then confronted by a security guard. Sean reassures him that he didn't go beyond the employee sign. Sean proceeds to film the building, admiring its architecture, when he's rudely interrupted by a familiar face. I'd like to move video you didn't have my permission. Ma'am, who are you? Can you tell me that now or? You. you didn't? I did. I have no idea who I'm you are. Federal government employee, and your name, and so that means you're a public and service. You're a public servant. You are recording me without my permission. So that means that you're a public. So oh, so you should. Video. So if you if you feel that that's against the law, you should call law enforcement, uh, ma'am. Your video. Ma'am, if you feel that's against the law, you should call law enforcement, and yeah. maybe they can educate you. The two argue about laws, and the guard signals to call the police. Can I get your name and badge number, please? You can have my badge number. Not your name. That's all I'm required to give you by law. Okay, that's fine. To give you my name, and you're it's not, not about get... it's not it's it's okay. not about being required. Three four five zero two. That's my identity. So let me ask you, what is your business here? Do I have to answer that question yes, by law? Do. Yes, you do. By law? You're in a federal facility. So that doesn't mean that I have to answer your questions because yes, I answered a federal you, facility. You, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you want to be technical by the, the law. Let's be technical right by the law. Says that you have to. Yeah, the, no, that doesn't say that. Forty one CFR one hundred two dash seventy. Show me where it says that I have to answer your questions. You have to be here on official business. I am I here on official ask you business. That, what that official business is when, when you come into a federal facility. The FPS or Federal Protective Service representative arrives in an argument in the Got the DHS memo from right. 2018. We have a special agent what on you the way explain up here? here. Yeah, that's fine. Right. She's maybe gonna, she's maybe he will be. She's gonna make the judgment call whether you could be here or not. And if not, I'm gonna throw you out. You're not I'm gonna you you're not gonna now. touch me. That's I'm for sure. You know that I'm now. telling you now, you're not gonna throw I'm me you out. Know that now. So have and your I'm fun telling now. you now. Have your fun I'm now. telling you now, you're not gonna touch me. Have your fun I'm now. I'm telling you now. When she comes, she's gonna make the yep. final decision. And you're not gonna touch me. That's for sure. There's nothing you can do. There's no need for that. There's nothing you can do about it. You're not gonna touch me. I know that. What are you gonna do if I if I do? Don't worry about it. Do it. I have a legal right to do it. Do it. No, you don't. The cop clearly needed to go back to the academy and do some reading. Good thing his superior was right behind him. 
Hi, um, I'm just in the publicly, there's a DHS memo from 2018. I'm just in the publicly accessible areas. My name is Sean. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not, you know, the, the ADA here says that I can't take pictures of employees, but I have a government, I have a right to film government employees in the course of their duty and the DHS memo. There's no need for you to put those on. The special agent tried to calm the cop down so they wouldn't blow this out of proportion. I identified myself. Uh, I don't know what else I can do to... No, you're fine. And just so I'm clear, do you have any business with the VA today? I have no business directly with the with with, with them, okay. other than so asking questions. I'm just taking some pictures in the publicly accessible areas, ma'am. Okay. That's it. That's all. You're good. All right, thank you. What did you say your name was? My name is Sean. Sean? Yeah, okay. my name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. You, did you you'll go see. through security screening? I did. I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Of course. No, I went through I went through the sec security screening. Just checking. Yeah, no, okay. nothing. I obviously have nothing on me. I'm just taking some pictures of video in the publicly accessible areas of this building, and that's all I'm going to do. And you, and you said your name was? I didn't, I didn't... Special Agent Kingsley. Kingsley. Thank you, Special Agent Kingsley. I appreciate it. Okay. The cop superior knew that Sean wasn't in the wrong at all. She cleared him to stay, and he eventually filmed for a bit and left. Good to see common sense is still out and about. Special Agent Kingsley over here. She was very nice and de-escalated the situation and let us know that it is our right to film in public, as we already knew, so. Courts have recognized a right to film government officials performing their duty in public areas, like sidewalks or public lobbies. So by that law, Sean was never in the wrong. In the next case, Sean the audit man is back, and this time, he has a whole PD called on him. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. He was visiting the Nassau County office building in Mineola, New York, and it all started with a minor disagreement. I don't have a driver's you have license. Any picture ID on you? No, I don't have that picture ID. You gotta have something to picture. Hi. This, but this is a government building, ma'am. Why would I need Why would I need picture ID to come into a government building? Because I don't need picture ID even to vote. Why? Doesn't that seem silly? You could vote for the president of the United States without a picture ID, but I can't come see a county clerk without picture ID. You could just write my name down. What are you here for? I need to see the county clerk. That what? I need to do an open records request. I'm a journalist. All right, just stand over there. Hold on a second. It is important to note that there is no law on presenting an ID before entering a federal building. Ben. Ben Franklin. Franklin? Correct. What's your date of birth, Ben? Why do you need my date of birth? What is your date of birth? Do you want to come in this building? Yeah, I have business to conduct, ma'am. I, I just don't see why this is not Nazi Germany. I don't see why I would need to give... Sean was adamant about not giving his address or any identification. Can you call the please? You're not allowed to video. You were for I'm sorry? Why, why can't I... I'm asking you nicely because there's a sign posted outside that... You can't do that in here. Why can't I record in here? Who are you here to see, the county clerk? I'm here to see the county clerk. I have business to conduct. I have to do a public records request. The receptionist brought her supervisor, who did not want to be on tape at all. So these are government buildings. Moving forward, yeah. you need ID to get in government buildings. Well, I don't need an ID Moving to pay for this government building. Sir, <laughs> right? as an officer, I can deny you to come into that would be a very big mistake, though. Sean raises a very valid point here. What's their response? Officer Heitman. So now, hey. if you fall down and get hurt and we have to put you in back of an ambulance, we don't know who you are. Nobody knows who you are. So that's for your safety. No. But well, let's get off it's of not, that. It's not. It's not for your. It's not for my safety at all. So, what are we gonna do here? The, my name is not gonna change me being okay. me being hurt. Do you have anything on you? I have. That you can show us your name. No, no, so no, we no. Can no. Let you in. I don't have anything with my name. Okay. I don't have. Hold I want to. Please just say yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Ridiculous. Well, that's one heck of a reason to take a civilian's ID. All right, guys. Well, this is ridiculous. I'm not turning anything off, ma'am. You are turning it off. I'm not turning it off, ma'am. We have freedom of press in this country, ma'am. And you should treat the public with more respect. And look, she says for me to turn off my camera. The biggest hypocrites of them all. They're always recording us. It really does feel nice when you give them a taste of their own medicine. So I can't enter in a public building and conduct services without showing some sort of government ID. That's uh, that sounds like sounds like Nazi Germany to me, not the United States of America. I go to 
I'm a journalist. I go to buildings all over the country and I've never been once required, denied access, public access to a building if is I don't this have... building requires... Uh, ID. On whose authority? On whose authority? On what policy? Or, or is it a law? Or is it a policy? The policy of this building. I guess Sean was becoming a handful for them. So much so that the manager had decided to call her manager. But even she couldn't decide if it was a policy or a law to show ID before entering a public space. Uh, to show their... Unfortunately, this is the rule of the building. I mean, if you're a journalist... Where is the so rule? Where is the rule? Can the I see the rule? Is, is Can you show me the policy? This head of security didn't want to show him the policy at all. Show me. So you can take that too, please. Visitors, Where? Please have picture ID ready to show the public safety. Okay, but is that, I, under, I understand, I understand that 100%. I just don't understand, you're, that's unconstitutional and unlawful. It's unlawful to require somebody to show an ID to enter in a building that I already pay for. Yes, there's a sign. So that must mean it's legit, right? Hi, sir. How are you? What's going on? Can I just get your name and badge? My name and badge? Yeah. Um, you have to be outside, though, because there is... That's another rule. You cannot video or do anything in inside man, we have We have freedom of press outside, in this country. Okay? We have freedom um, of press in this country, no man. no ID. The signs are all over that say you need to have ID in order to come in a building. You need no. a license. It's an anything. And that's, that's what it is. Hey, sir. Can I just get your name and badge number two? Ramos for five foot. Thank you, sir. Eventually... The NCPD is called to try and figure this out. Yeah, I don't need an ID. There's a whole policy that they got going on. So They're not even showing know, me that policy. They're not showing me the policy. They don't need to show your policy. They're letting you know what's going on right now. You see signs right here. It must show it's an un you sir, your sir, officer, it's an unconstitutional policy. You and your partner took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. They gotta have you on the trespass form. You'll be getting arrested for trespass. Okay, so are you gonna give me a trespass? Am I being trespassed on the we, building? We got a trespass form. You have to sign that say if, if you Okay, great. I'll inside. do that. Do that. All yep. Right, no problem. So we, we'll go ahead and do that route. Big mistake. You guys are opening yourself up to civil litigation here. Sean tried explaining to the officers what their lawful duties were, but they gave the signs more importance. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hey, how are you doing today, Sarge? Can I, can I just get your name? Sure. Uh, Sergeant McDonald. A bunch of patrol cars arrive on the scene, headed by Sergeant McDonald. Sean then explains the whole situation and the law to the sergeant, who looks like he knows what Sean was talking about. I just would like the trespass. I would like the trespass warning that your officer over here said he was going to give me. You would like the trespass warning? Yes, because I'm going to take that to court and fight it. Correct. Well, he said he was going to give me a trespass warning that if I ever came back here, I would be arrested. Yeah, they'd, they'd have to sign a form saying that you're yeah. not allowed in the building. You said they were going to do that, correct? Yeah, I okay. spoke to them. They said they're trying to see if they get a form. Okay, great. I'm saying, like, is there any information that we can help you? With? No, just that, uh, other than that, and if, and if you're okay with, with me being trespassed from the building, I mean, just wanted to speak to a supervisor well, regarding yeah, that. I mean, I'm going to go speak to them. Just okay. To Okay, no, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I spoke every time I come in contact have, have with law before? enforcement. No, okay. first time here. All right, so no issues with the pastor. No, no, no. Sean was definitely ballsy. He would rather use the trespass warning to take the management to court than to just show ID. But in Sean's case, it's more about sending a message. Hey, sir, I, I don't think I just got your name and badge number. Hey, sir. Sir. Can I get your name and badge number? Check your camera. Is that is that your name? Check your camera. This other officer was getting pissed off too. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Where's the uh, city clerk? I mean the county clerk. Oh, okay, thank you. Hi, sir. Hi. Eventually, Sergeant McDonald told the security guard off and let Sean exercise his right to pass without an ID. Good move, but not all cases go as smoothly as the last two. Sometimes the cop gets an earful as well. Okay, dude. No, not no, okay, dude, nothing. I'm at it. November 27th, 2022. Jordan, a Houston police officer, heads into a gas station, responding to a call about an intoxicated man inside. It's right down here. Hold on, you're not going anywhere. They're right there. You got a camera that shows him driving up. 
I don't know how to work it. Okay, but do you have one? Okay, I need to talk to you real quick. The officer promptly confronts the man and immediately takes him to the back over a call he received. Here's the situation. I got a call stated that they believe that you'd be intoxicated. Okay. Have you had any drink today? No. No? No. No. Yeah, nothing drink at all? No. Nope. No. What you nope. Do? Nope. Okay, because you kind of seem like your eyes are a little watery, kind of glassy, a little bit bloodshot. Is that your car out front? Yep. It is? Yep. Would you mind taking a breathalyzer test for me? No. You won't? No. Nope. You won't? I've been driving. You haven't been driving, so when we pull that camera up up there, it's not going to show you driving that motor vehicle. Oh. Jordan's already assumed that this man is drunk and is apparently trying to stick him with a DUI charge. No. It looks like you've been drinking. I can smell it. And? How much have you had a drink today? None. None? No. Okay. So I'm not going to play these games, okay? You can sit here in denial you want, but I can smell the alcohol. Okay. And okay, are you going to take some breathalyzer tests for him real quick? The cop repeatedly asks him to take a breathalyzer test, but he refuses. Sir, do I have to detain you? For what? Hey, 12 well, I'm now a subject. For driving while intoxicated. You're not driving. I'm not blood driving. Okay, sir. They stated they seen you drive up here. You're intoxicated. I'm not going to allow you to go on. Who said I drove it? Sir. I'm not going to tell you who. Now, he was just making things up at this point. The cops seemed like he was waiting for the senior's tongue to slip. Hey. Okay, oh, will you be willing to take some tests for me to allow you to operate no. your motor vehicle? Okay, no. well then you're not going to operate that motor vehicle. Well, all right then. All right. Let it be. I have Jay's hauling. No, so we're, here's the deal. Did you operate that vehicle coming in here? No. Okay, so I'm going to detain you. Go ahead and turn up your hands on my back. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your yeah. back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm going to detain you right now. You're not under arrest. Jordan ended up detaining the poor man with no probable cause. <laughs> Nothing, man. You drove your car up here drunk, and I'm going to go back and review those cases. I didn't drive up Sir, there. Sir, you are obviously intoxicated. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Hello? Yes, you are. Take a step back. Not as bad as I can get. Okay, but you still are. Correct. But have a seat right there for me. Again, you're not under arrest right now. You're just being detained while investigating. For this. what? For driving while underneath the influence of alcohol. I'm not driving. Sir, I'm going to ask you to step in that vehicle, or I'm going to well, arrest you for not doing it. I'm giving you a lawful pants. order. Sir, your pants are fine. Step in the vehicle. Well, I got to get my pants pulled up. You don't have anything? Pull my pants up. Your britches are up. Here you go. Get in the vehicle. Sir. The only one who looks drunk between the two is definitely the cop. You can't help but feel bad for the senior that had to go through this. Is there anybody you can call to get the camera? Uh, uh, it's Sunday. And uh -huh. I normally close because they're doing whatever. Mm -hmm. I called Jeremy a while ago. Um, I could call Carla and see if Willie could come up. That'd be chance. great. The officer then demands to see the camera footage, but the cashier insists that she'll call the owner to figure that out. Thanks. Uh, guy, he's drunk. I need to see the camera. Huh? Just a drunk guy. Just a drunk guy. My cool. cameras are for you guys. No. Okay. Ever. Ever. Okay. Okay. So. These are private cameras. Right, so. Okay. I want it in writing that you even requested that. Okay, I can give it to you, William. Right, that's fine. Moments later, the officer asks the gas station owners, one of which is Mayor Willie Walker, if he can see surveillance video to confirm the man was driving while intoxicated. Okay, dude. No, not no, okay, dude. Nothing. I've had it with your. Seriously. Yeah. No, we don't do that. Ever. Okay, so what I got? What are you doing here in this parking lot? Your lady called me and said that you got a drunk guy here getting ready to leave. <laughs> So to keep a guy from getting on the road, came down here, found him, he's drunk. So keep him from getting in the vehicle. I'm asking to see if I can see the cameras to prove that he drove up here. The store owner seemed extremely agitated at the cop. We'll get to know his frustrations in a bit. 
I would never do that for any citizen. These are private cameras, okay? I'm not with people getting watched all the time or any of that stuff. And you sat across the road over here for a day for an hour and 15 minutes watching my place. As a business I'm not owner, watching, but I'm running traffic. He's even asked owner, me to do said thing. To watch traffic. As a business owner, nobody's going to come and buy anything from the liquor store if the cops sitting in a bus there. It's not good for business. Okay. The mayor made sure that Jordan would not be getting the footage. You said she called the cops and she did not call the cops. I did not call the cops. Okay, some so you're fire. Sir, I'm gonna tell you the cops. Get the out of here! Sir, I'm Sir, go! Stop. Sir, stop. Get the I'm sick of you! Sir, you lied about that. You lied. I didn't lie about nothing. She Somebody didn't call you. Up. You said she called. You okay. just said that. She you called just, you need somebody to called. You need to leave Get here. The here. Don't ever pull back on this parking lot again. I told to you that with one business. I'm telling you with this one. I'm telling you as a business owner, politely, you All need right. to leave here. We're, we're gonna go. The cop got told off really badly. Get the f out of here. Get your car and get the f out of here. Hey, right here. now I'm here lawfully for an investigation. No, you're not. Yes, I am. If no one calls you, get out All right, of here. I'm going to call the chief. You, Andy, you, I want him gone. Do you want the car removed? No, leave the car there. Do you need the car? Huh? Do you need the car? Huh. Okay. He, he said he's fine with it there, so. Okay, that's fine. You just want to grab his keys? Where is his keys? In the car. If he Does he want it secured or anything? We can just leave him in there. See, right now he's not arrested. He's being detained. Okay. So until I can complete an investigation. The store owner was clearly ticked off and wanted the cop off the property, but Jordan just wouldn't give. And in the final clip, a citizen is pulled over in what seems like a setup, only to completely dismantle the officer's attempts at manipulation with his knowledge of the law. Over here, you got a call for a suspicious vehicle, okay? So, someone passed her by or whomever called said it was a white vehicle sitting along the power lines. I'm sitting on the power lines or sitting on a public street. What's that? I'm sitting on a public street, minding my business. That's okay. all I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, well, we got a call for a suspicious vehicle. We're just checking on said uh, vehicle. Are you the owner of the car, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer any questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Can I get a badge number? It's uh, 37. And his name? Sergeant Brian Gilmore. Brian Gilmore. Okay. Would you no. like to speak to him as well? No, thank you. Okay. I just want to mind my business, man. People drive by here, uh, see me parked here, doing nothing Fifth wrong. Amendment right not talk to us. Yes. I'm not doing anything illegal, right? Could really just okay. park in a public street. That's right. <clears throat> okay, well. Just because somebody caught in a suspicious car mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're doing anything illegal. Did they specifically identify something illegal that I was doing? Did okay. I press, did so I press at passing? This point, at this point, the reason we're requesting an identification sure. is number one, we need to identify everybody we talk to. It's part of our routine. Here's some crucial background. People are typically free to refuse to answer questions without facing immediate jail time under the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. It seems like our officials here have forgotten everything about that. If people saw my channel, perhaps they would have a better understanding of effective law enforcement practices. It's accepted and it's it's something that's been it's been a, it's been approved by the Supreme Court. It's not the been state, it's and been the United been, States Supreme Court. It's not been approved by any Supreme Court. Okay, all right. Well, unless you, you have reasonable, all you want, but just because you think so doesn't Unless you have reasonable suspicion of a crime, okay. Well, I don't have to provide any ID, sir. Well, you're a, you're on one of our streets in our town, and in order for you to leave, who's, you're going to have to be legally able to drive. Who pays? Who pays for these streets, sir? Excuse me. Who pays for the street? Upper Chichester Township. The township, right? The yep. people. It's a taxpayer-funded street, right? Mm -hmm. And I, that means I can park here. I can travel through here, also. I can stop on the streets. It's not illegal for me to do that. In your investigation, what have you concluded that I've done that's that I illegal? I have somebody that's refusing to provide an And that's not illegal. Am I, it is am I under illegal, arrest? Sir. Under the vehicle code? Am I required. under arrest? Huh? You're not, you may be, and we'll have to find so you, out. So are you threatening me with arrest? Am I threatening you? No, I am not threatening you. This individual must have dealt with self-proclaimed know-it-alls previously, too. Sir, well, conduct your job. I'm not providing any ID because I didn't commit any crimes. You don't need to commit a crime yes, for you us do. to ask you to yes, provide you ID, do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You need RAS. Without RAS, there's no probable cause. Okay, Is that illegal? Do you, can, can you just come here and identify me? They didn't say we're a punk flamingo either, so... Well, uh, that's, that's fine, but I'm not providing any ID. Where do we go from here? I didn't do anything illegal. You're threatening me with arrest. I'm telling you that you need to provide identification. You're I'm not providing any identification. 
I'm not required. Do your investigation, go and talk to the person who called and find out what I did that was illegal. Talk to them, do your investigation, do a thorough investigation. You just don't come here and talk to me. Talk to You're them, the see what here. I did. Because they called to talk to them. I didn't do anything wrong. You're not going to force me to identify. Do wrong, but sir. do an investigation to see I if I did anything wrong. And in the state of Pennsylvania, yes. if you're in a, operating a motor vehicle, which is what you're doing. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. You I'm absolutely parked. are. I'm parked on a public street. You're in command and control of the vehicle. I'm parked on a public if street. If you were under the influence of alcohol or another drug, I could arrest you for DUI, but I'm you're not. I'm parked on a public street. Okay. Good. That's all I'm doing here. I'm parked on a public street. Doing nothing illegal. You're you're not providing me the case number. That's correct. <laughs> okay, well then you're not getting any ID. Okay. What's the next step? Um, you'll probably get a citation for failure to provide driver's license. Sergeant Gilmore, finally realizing how silly his actions were, decided to do this. Can you call the dispatcher and give me this incident number? You I'd like to document you can this. Our police station, grab the incident number. So you're not providing an incident number? I don't have an incident number until I go back and do the report. I can't just pull one out of thin air. I applaud this man for being aware of his rights and refusing to be exploited. I'm not going to be surprised. I'm sorry. Sure. Hey, can I come under? Hey, do you, do you mind giving me an incident number, please? Yep. That's all I want. My name's Clap. Badge number's 44. Thank you, Clap. Hey, have a good one. I just want an incident number. Delivery, that's all. We don't generate an incident number until it clears. So All right. Until it clears what? Like the call? The radio system, yep. So and you're about to clear it, I would assume? You can get it tomorrow, okay. Fortunately, not all police officers are naive, and he locates another one who has the common sense to provide him with the incident number he needs. If you're bad-mouthing the last cops, wait till you see how a journalist was pushed to the ground and handcuffed while covering a news conference. <laughs> February 8th, 2023, a journalist was broadcasting a news conference about a train derailment in Ohio. Two state highway patrol troopers and the Ohio National Guard's Major General John Harris asked Lambert to stop his live reporting, and that's when an argument started. Major Harris argued that Lambert was being loud and disruptive, but what right does he have to boss and threaten him around? We were told to shut it down and continue to argue. Go. Go. Now. Go. Now. Or well, you can right go to jail. Here. Sir. Do you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you want to go to jail for criminal trespassing? Do you understand? You know me? how quickly our lawyers will get me out. I don't, we don't care. care. Sir, can we I don't talk? care. Just talk outside. Let's talk outside. Let's go. Let's talk outside. Out the doors. Out the doors. You're out the doors. By other media right I don't care. Here. I'm going to listen. I don't care. You're going to walk out the door. I'm going to listen. You're going to walk out the door. Do not touch mine out, sir. You're going to walk out the door you're going to jail. Do not touch me. Sir, can we talk outside, please? I'm trying to talk listen. Outside, please. And he escalated with me. I am doing my job. I'm discovered by the First Amendment. Excuse me, sir. I'm the building supervisor here. Yes. Please leave. There you have it. You're, you're no. going to stand outside. You are no. Or you're go. going to jail. Let's go. Please Let's go. Come on. Out. The journalist was in his right to do his job. He didn't do anything to warrant the treatment he got next. Please. You guys, he's a national correspondent. You cannot do this. I'm a reporter with News Nation. It's all being recorded right now. I hope it is. This is horrible. Because you can't talk to people about doing their jobs. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. What's that? This is horrible. This is what it's like to be okay. a black reporter. In Evan, I'm so sorry. Evan, I'm sorry. Thank you, Sia. Pull over, sir. Lambert was thrown to the ground and handcuffed. Does a major have that much authority? Afterwards, the reporter's manager came to clarify his case. Or disrespect. Hello. We had, we been waiting for, we were up there, we, we had a live shot scheduled to report on this at 5.15. Okay. That's locked in stone. Okay. So, coincidence of all coincidence, the governor literally walks out at 5.50. It's the worst 
possible time in the world, okay? But we can, there's nothing that we can do about that. He's, he's committed to doing his live show. He's got people talking to him. The reason why he is where he is, he was told to leave. He refused to leave. Okay. Then the building superintendent comes over and says, I don't want you here. Okay. He still refused I, to leave. I didn't so now he's arrested. I didn't witness any of That's his own fault he's arrested. Um, all he had to do I, was pipe up. I didn't, uh, and he, he just kept on arguing. All I'm telling you is from the television standpoint of I, I understand what you're just, trying to it's, do. It's I understand television. you guys have a have job just, to do. Yeah. But when he's told to leave by law enforcement, I, I, can't, not, I can't speak to that. Um, that that's an issue. What I, just, I, could, I thought I might just be able to give you some insight. On, on I understand. If you look at it from the broadcaster's side, the reporter did nothing wrong. He was just following orders, and he knew he was following the Constitution as well. Governor DeWine did not know that the reporter was making this request, nor did he ask that the reporter cease his live broadcast, according to his office. We are unable to comment on the circumstances leading up to the reporter's arrest because the governor was not present when the broadcast concluded. All charges on the journalist were dropped after the news broke of his arrest. This last case had one arrogant major who got battered by the public's opinions, but this next one had a female cop that was beyond dumb. That's not my problem. I don't want to take you to jail, but also I'm doing my you job. clearly do. An angry female cop approached an unidentified person who was just strolling about Jacksonville. Is there a reason I'm doing a job? Yeah, to make money. People have just been calling, just thinking it's kind of weird. It's journalism. I'm sorry. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's protected under the First Amendment, so. Uh, I'm not saying you're not. Sorry about that. All right, but hold on. Hold on. Am I being detained? Yeah, right now. For you what? Are. For which for, which crime? So I'm further investigating why you're walking what around. What crime? Recording. That's not a crime. Walking around okay, isn't a crime. Detain. You have to attack, articulate a crime before you can okay, detain but me. I can also detain anybody? Supervisor. Supervisor. Okay. Yep. You can't detain just anyone. You have to articulate a crime. I can detain you're incorrect. Get your supervisor and let's, let's find out. He's probably the type to run from real challenges, opting instead to pick on innocent civilians over the most trivial matters. But you are failure, you're not identifying yourself, you're refusing. What crime have I committed? So at the end of the day, if law it's enforcement- It's not the end, this is the beginning. Listen to me for a sec. So if law enforcement requests your identification, right? Your name, your date of birth, your ID card, your driver's license number, you are obligated to give that to law enforcement. No, you're not. Okay. Not yes, unless you can law. articulate a crime. So I can articulate. That this Walking is around is not behavior. suspicious. Isn't a crime. Okay, but it is something we have to investigate. It's not a crime, so I don't have to comply with anything. I don't have to help you help you in your investigation. Okay. Well, I'm asking you to identify yourself. You are refusing. I haven't committed a crime. That doesn't matter. You it does matter. No, I do yourself. not. Okay. Hello, sir. How Name and badge number, please. Uh, my name is Corporal Team Bureau. My officer number is six seven four. Thank you. Thank you. Do you live around here? I'm not answering any questions. Okay. Well. You have a nice day then, okay? Thank you. Am I free to go? Oh, you did? Yeah, you've been free to go this whole time. And she told me I've been detained. Oh, okay. No. Twice now. So I'm detained? Well, you want a supervisor. Am I, am I detained? I'm trying to identify you. That's not happening. Am I detained? Well, at the end of the day, I'm trying to identify you. That's, that's not my problem. I don't have to further your investigation for you. That's your job. Knowing fully well that she could not lawfully hold him, she attempted to sidestep the subject at hand. In the meantime, another officer, maybe sensing the absurdity of the situation, signaled to our buddy that he might go. Apparently you have no idea how it works. You can't walk up to a, a citizen not committing a crime and demand ID. That's that's not how this works. Okay. Yes, you know the long way. I do, actually. It turns out that I do. You see, I'm a journalist. Well, how is that obvious? I'm gathering content for a story. Who else everybody does that? Do mechanics do that? Excuse me? I said everybody with a cell phone isn't a journalist. Uh, if they choose to be, they are. It's in the Constitution. Okay. Cell phones make you a journalist? If, the, if that's what you choose to do, yeah. Okay. This arrogant cop thought he was being clever, but anybody may videotape on public land without facing legal repercussions because of the First Amendment. This friend of ours maintains his position and strikes their ego really hard. These police officers' ignorance of the rules they're tasked with enforcing is quite disgraceful. We're not in court, sir. We can be very easily. I would like to avoid that. I, I would rather not because this is going to keep happening until you guys are taught a lesson. What's that, sir? That, you can't, that you can't bully people into giving ID when you don't, have, you don't suspect a crime. Sir, no, nobody is trying to bully you into anything. She just told me she could take me to jail if I don't give her my ID. What she's trying to make you sure you understand is when law enforcement are investigating something, 
They can investigate whatever you want. You have to suspect me of a crime. Is this where our taxes go these days? Truly despicable. Right now you're detained. Okay. For what for what crime do you suspect me because of? Because she's following up on investigation. What crime do you suspect me of? Suspicious activity. It's not so suspicion is a crime. Are you gonna give her your name and information? No. Okay. This man here was wrongfully detained, arrested, and later charged with resisting a public safety officer and obstructing an investigation. And now an innocent guy who was simply out on a walk has to deal with a criminal record for the rest of his life. If you thought cops behave like d in the street, you'd be surprised to know that you'll find them at the police stations too. Yeah, sir, I have paperwork to turn in. Don't walk away from me. Don't you tell me what to do. Sir, you're a public servant, I'm telling you. This auditor filed a complaint about their heedless activities at the Maryland Capitol Police Headquarters in Annapolis. This is an authorized and legitimate activity. However, he is taken aback by what he discovers as soon as he enters the building. Yep, so I was here uh, a couple weeks ago, and I turned this in, and it wasn't, uh... Hold on, hold on. Let me get a police officer for you. Okay. I have a seat right here. What's your name? I'd rather not give that. The name's on your right? No, it's not. Absolutely. Okay. So what's that supposed to mean? I'm just not allowed to turn in my complaint now? It's not that you're not allowed to turn in your complaint. There's no one to accept it from you. Okay, well, we're during business hours on a Tuesday afternoon, well, ma'am. Well, this is session. Maryland General Assembly is in session right now. Uh-huh, right down the street. At, the uh -huh. Okay, well, we're rally, well, so. we're gonna have to call one over here to do their job, ma'am. Well, you, you can't, don't talk, you don't talk to me like that. I'm not a police officer. Okay, I'm, trying to assist you. I'm not talking to you like anything. I'm just saying you're gonna have to call a police officer down here. You can't deny me a public service, ma'am. You well, you're I'm telling, telling me there's no sergeant to come down here and do the job. I'll sit over here and ring the doorbell. Now. How about that? So, what you're saying is there is a sergeant here. Oh yeah, yeah, let's explain a big lie before you come out here, because you just told me there's no sergeant here. So how are you speaking to a sergeant? How are you speaking to a sergeant then, ma'am? How are you speaking to a sergeant if there's not one here? You want to answer that question? How are you speaking to a sergeant if there's not a sergeant here? Hi, sir. Hi, who are you, ma'am? I'm Sergeant Alexander. Sergeant Alexander, can you tell me why this lady just lied to me and said there's no sergeant here in the building? Can you tell me, uh, I, the first thing I need is you to tell me why she just lied to me and told me there's no sergeant in the building. Okay, well, I said that could handle your issues. No, you said there's no sergeant here. Well, I said that could handle Ma'am, it's all on videotape. If you want to sit down and go over it, we can sit down and go over it and you can see where you're wrong. The receptionist immediately puts up unwarranted opposition to the auditor. She doesn't even know who he is or what he wants, yet she still behaves so badly. It begs the question of how awful the rest of her squad is. And regardless, it's during business hours on a, on a business day. There has to be somebody to accept this. So then why does she say he wasn't here? Why did she say he wasn't here then? What is the issue? I'm trying to turn in paperwork. I don't know why the lady that came out there who was originally going to help me came out and said, oh, there's no sergeant here to help you, so... And just shook her, so. Okay. So well, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm just saying they're all on legislation, so. We were. Okay, so what is that? You got down here pretty quick, didn't you? There's another door. You got down here pretty quick for being in legislation, aren't you? Do you have a problem? You see how quick, I do have a problem. You see how quick you got down here when you thought that I was causing a disturbance or when someone cried to call oh, you down here, boy. but nobody could come down here to help me two seconds ago. Yeah, sir, I have paperwork to turn in. Don't walk away from me. Don't you tell me what to do. Sir, you're a public servant. I'm telling you. No, you're not telling me. I'm telling you. You want to get arrested again? Uh, sir, I'm doing... Pro sir, this is legal... Hey, give me the paper. Yeah, it, it's going to be it's gonna be date, stamp, and a copy I'm to return not, to I me. I have a date stamp. Well, get that, that's how it's done, sir. That's the official way it's done. You can't change protocol. You can't change protocol right. just because you don't want to deal with me, sir. I do want to deal with you. Okay, then please. I need these stamped, copied, and returned to me. To I need a date stamp. You guys have that. Where? Back in the office, sir. We're the only one Every police right station has that. Can I see what you're talking about? No, you can get a date thing and you can come out here no, and then you can no, stamp no, no. my We're paperwork. One of two ways. You either cooperate. Well, with no, me. sir. There's only one you're way this is handled. You either going to cooperate with me. Sir, there's or a legal. Away. Sir, there's a legal way of doing this. Okay, so then why is it that I'm asking them to why? simply stamp it, sir? I'm asking I'm them to stamp it as received. At last, an officer recognizes the existence of a received stamp. I'm not sure why, but this person is able to recognize it and take care of it for him. Ma'am, I'm I'm doing legal business. Come with me. I was told by the commissioner. 
there that I could do this. This is legal business. I have legal business. No, ma'am, I'm. This is legal business. I'm in a public lobby. I'm going to be here and I'm going to help you. Okay. You're disturbing. I'm not disturbing anything, ma'am. No, I'm not, ma'am. I'm asking them to do their job. They're disturbing it by refusing these services, ma'am. What do you need? I need these stamped and returned to me. Simply see how she is pushing the cops aside to make room for herself. She is obviously angry that she has to help this person and deal with him. She's totally engulfed in corruption. I need these done properly. I'm not interfering with the flow of business. They're refusing to do it. Hey, I want two sergeants here and the lieutenant. That's it. Everyone else can go. What's up, Barnes? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How you doing? Good. I'm hanging in there, buddy. I'm hanging in there. I'm trying to fill out complaints for what happened that day, but they're like they're being ignorant about it. So why is it they can't come down here pretty quick to try and help me? I didn't even. I did, because you came in here huffing and puffing, sir. Huffing and puffing? You, 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 you threatened three times. You. you threatened three times to arrest me. You said you can leave or you're going to be arrested. So that's how I thought you were going to arrest me because you said it, sir. It came out of your mouth. That's why I thought that. You might want to look at your camera. I have it. You might want to look at that. You might want to look at it. All right, that's enough. Get him out of here. Go on. Get him out of here. I'm waiting for my paperwork, sir. Go outside. No, sir. This is a public lobby. Michael Wilson, the head of police, arrives on the scene. Watch how naive he is about the auditor while he conducts a legitimate audit. He just can't seem to get that it's permissible to file a complaint against a public official. Business, sir. You have been told three times not to come. And I'm waiting for the... me. And I've been told by the commissioner that if I have legal business, I can come in this office, sir. You've been told three times not to trespass into this building. I'm not trespassing. I'm doing legal business. Because you create a problem when you're here. I'm doing legal business, Now I'm telling you to leave the building. I'm doing legal business, sir. If you don't leave the building, you're going to get arrested again. I'm doing legal business, sir. And again, and again. I'm doing legal business, sir. I'm doing legal business, sir. It's not legal business, sir. It is, sir. Get out or get locked up. I have a right. Put it, lock him up. Sir, I have a right to file You're grievances. You're for trespassing. No, I'm not. Yeah, you Rebecca, are. can you just please give me my paperwork so I can leave? That's too late for that. Sir, uh, Rebecca, too what too is going on out here? You're under arrest for trespassing. I'm not, sir. I'm You've doing legal business. You've been told to I'm leave. waiting for my paperwork so I can leave. Ma'am, please, that's all I'm waiting for so I can leave. That's, sir, I'm going to come back here. Am I going to move on? This is a, I have a right to file these complaints, sir. Yeah, yeah, my cell phone. No. My keys, my cell phone, my wallet. I don't understand why I'm being arrested. I literally, okay. Sir, I was told that if I had legal business, sir, if I was, I have a legal right to be here if I'm filing a grievance, sir. I'm filing a grievance, sir. Sir, I'm filing a grievance. I'm allowed here. Sir, this, this is a violation of 18 Code US 242. It's a deprivation of public services. I have a right to file grievances with my government, sir. I was told by the commissioner when you got when he when he arrested me unlawfully out here last time and lied upon me and I was taking the commissioner. Uh -huh. I asked them, well, how is it that I can come back here to do this because I need? And they said you are allowed back there if you have legal and lawful business. They told me that filing this complaint is legal and lawful business. So how is it that I'm being trespassed or how is it I'm being arrested for trespassing if I have a complaint that I filled out and filed? Your initial time that you came in, uh -huh. you you were um, trying to get. An investigation started. I was trying to find out why my uh, tags have been taken off my car. I got you. I got you. And that's when I was arrested down here. Is this the second time you've you've filled out this paperwork? Who did you fill it out on the first time? The, on, you can see both of them right same there. One, the no, not the same thing. No, they're for different incidents, different, different days, oh, I different you. incidents. I got you. I got you. I filled out different incident forms for different days. So, so I didn't the, want to put five incidents on I'm one thing. thing. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. So the first one was for the tags and all that stuff. Yeah. All that justification for nothing. The cops are incapable of thinking with their own brains because they are powered drunk. They are only stealing citizen rights and enforcing an authoritarian system. No, I haven't been banned. I haven't been banned, sir. You can't ban someone from doing a constitutionally protected activity. I have a right to file this, sir. You're right. I can't come here and just sit down and chill in the office. I can't go in there and do the security card process in the right. center. Mr. Salt, are you going to allow me to explain to you real quick? I would rather not speak to you, sir. Okay, well, that's fine. You can hear. The auditor reportedly endangered the officer's safety, so he was placed under arrest with a $1,000 bail. He was sent to the Anne Arundel County Detention Center in Annapolis, Maryland, which is located on Jennifer Road. The police succeeded in getting the commissioner to hold him by writing the report to the best of their abilities. This guy's luck is not good. These cases prove that knowing your rights can expose corruption and keep those in power accountable. Which comeback was the most powerful? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed watching Justice Served, hit that like button and subscribe for more real stories of empowerment. Thanks for tuning in. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.